Foods play an important role in arthritis because they can either help reduce inflammation and manage symptoms or exacerbate inflammation and make symptoms worse. Arthritis is a chronic condition characterized by inflammation of the joints, and certain foods can either promote or reduce inflammation in the body, which can affect arthritis symptoms. Usually, inflammation is not bad. It actually protects our body from infection and helps in wound healing. But, when inflammation persists for a long period, chronic symptoms can develop, which is bad for our joints and overall health. So, if you have arthritis or joint pain, then you should avoid certain foods that can aggravate inflammation and joint pain. First in our list is inflammatory fats. Several types of fat increase inflammation in the body. According to the Arthritis Foundation, a person with arthritis should limit the intake of omega-6 fatty acids, saturated fat and trans fats. Several oils, such as corn, safflower, sunflower, and vegetable, contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are not harmful in moderation, but excessive consumption can aggravate joint pain. Saturated fat is also harmful for the joint. According to dietary guidelines, saturated fat should comprise less than 10% of an individual's total daily caloric intake. Here are some foods which contains high saturated fats, like fatty cuts of meat, such as beef, pork, and lamb. Poultry with skin, such as chicken and turkey. The skin of poultry contains relatively high amounts of fat. So, removing the skin from poultry can help reduce the intake of saturated fat and overall calorie content. Next is full-fat dairy products, such as whole milk, butter, and cheese. High-fat desserts and baked goods, such as cakes, cookies, and pastries. Fast food and fried foods, such as French fries and fried chicken. Animal fats, such as lard and tallow also contain high amount of saturated fats. Trans fats are also harmful as it raises inflammation levels. The Food and Drug Administration banned trans fats from prepared foods in 2018. However, some processed foods may still contain trans fats, so you should check the Nutrition Facts panel and ingredients list to be sure. A recent study indicates that people who drink regular sugar-sweetened soda have an increased risk of rheumatoid arthritis. Frequent consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages can also lead to obesity inflammation, and other chronic diseases. Many products contain added sugars. So, always check food labels of breakfast cereals, sauces, and soft drinks, as these may contain surprising amounts of added sugars. Next important thing is nightshades. Nightshades are a group of vegetables that contain the compound solanine. It is a natural toxic compound that acts as a natural pesticide, protecting these plants from insects, fungi, and other threats. Different studies have different opinion about the nightshade vegetables. Some say it can trigger inflammation, but others say it can actually reduce inflammation. So, what to do? The Arthritis Foundation advises that people who suspect nightshades may exacerbate symptoms, exclude them from their diet for a couple of weeks, then reintroduce them one at a time. So, here are the nightshade vegetables you should consume cautiously, like tomatoes, bell peppers, chili peppers, eggplant, and potatoes. Next important thing you should avoid is high AGE foods. Advanced glycation end products or ages are molecules created through reactions between sugars and proteins or fats. They naturally exist in uncooked animal foods and are formed through certain cooking methods. High protein, high fat animal foods that are fried, roasted, grilled, seared, or broiled are among the richest dietary sources of ages. These include bacon, pan-fried or grilled steak, roasted or fried chicken, and broiled hot dogs. French fries, American cheese, margarine, and mayonnaise are also rich in ages. When ages accumulate in high amounts in your body, oxidative stress and inflammation may occur. Oxidative stress and AGE formation are tied to disease progression in people with arthritis. In fact, people with inflammatory arthritis have been shown to have higher levels of ages in their bodies than people without arthritis. Age accumulation in bones and joints may also play a role in the development and progression of osteoarthritis. So, try to reduce AGE-containing foods from your diet. Next in our list is gluten-containing foods. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley, and it is known to trigger an immune response in individuals with celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease. 
Rheumatoid arthritis is also an autoimmune disease. It is seen that gluten-containing foods can aggravate inflammation and joint pain in rheumatoid arthritis. But, if you have osteoarthritis then you probably don't have worry about that. Osteoarthritis is primarily caused by wear and tear on the joints over time, and there is limited evidence to suggest that gluten is directly harmful for osteoarthritis. High purine foods are also bad for your joints. Purines are substances in foods that the body converts to uric acid. Uric acid can build up in the bloodstream, causing a gout attack. According to the CDC, the following foods are high in purines. Organ meat, such as liver, beer and other alcohol. Cured meats such as ham, bacon, or lunch meats. Some seafood, such as mussels and scallops. But, not all purine-rich foods are harmful. Studies found that some purine-rich vegetables, such as cauliflower, mushrooms, and beans, have no links to gout risk. Last but not the least is high salt foods. Excessive salt, or sodium intake, may increase the risk of developing autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis. It may also worsen the symptoms. High sodium consumption can also increase blood pressure and raise a person's risk of developing other chronic conditions, such as cardiovascular and kidney disease, heart failure, and stroke. People should keep their sodium intake below 2,300 mg per day, which is about 1 teaspoon of salt. If you have arthritis, a healthy diet and lifestyle may help improve your symptoms. Keep in mind that lifestyle factors like your activity level, body weight, and smoking status are also vital to managing arthritis. That's all for today. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.